Tips for working in spiral straw braid. When making a hat this way, how do you deal with the transition between the crown and the brim? So here is a bit of straw braid that is used for making such hats. And the property to notice that will help you make that flare from the crown to the brim is the way that you can compress the braid and cause it to shrink back up on itself and get shorter. Or when you stretch it, it gets longer and narrower. So I have this straw braid hat that I have begun working on that most of these rows were sewn by machine until I got to a point where it was too deep to fit under the sewing machine. And then I began sewing by hand. So you'll see there's thread and there's a needle in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Um, but I am to the point in this hat where I want it to flare out for the brim. Now this is gonna be a bonnet, so it's not as much of a flare as for like a sun hat, but it still needs to change shape. So I am making this bonnet, so I have gotten to the base of this crown, and now I need to flare it up for the bell of this brim. But you can do this same technique, just more extremely, for a sun hat if that is the type of style that you're creating. So the key then, is to compress the braid a bit. I'm using these alligator clips to hold this in place. And as you go along, if you push the braid back on itself just a bit, that compression will cause it to flare out. And when you do this section of the hat, you will probably have to sew these rows by hand, like I'm doing. Um, and then once you get to an area where it's not transitioning in a complex curve, you can put that back under the sewing machine, but that transition from crown to brim is an area that, um, unless you have the specific specialty machine for straw stitching, you probably can't do it on a domestic sewing machine. So I'm gonna clip these all the way around one revolution of this hat and then show you the profile so you can see how the flare is starting to happen. See, I'm almost there. And just push it really gently. I'm not really cramming it up in there. Um, but then again, my hat is not an extreme transition, so you might need to do more compression. It's sort of an organic process that, that you experiment with it, and then you'll see. So let me put the rest of my braid inside the crown, and now I can show you. See how that is flaring out. So I have a straight side band, and now the brim is going to follow from here at an angle, right? There's no formula for that. I can't tell you, oh, you have to compress it exactly a quarter of an inch. Like, it's, it's an organic sculptural process, so you'll just have to experiment with it. And when you're sewing this, you know, you, you do it a row at a time and then sew it by hand. I use a running stitch with a back stitch every three or four stitches just to lock it in place. So hopefully that answers the question about how to transition from a relatively straight side band of a crown to the flaring of a brim in spiral straw construction. Thanks to Sherry Wu for asking this great question. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.